In this video, you will learn about the methods that hackers use to get your passwords. The purpose of this video is to make you aware of these techniques. There will also be some prevention tips so that you can protect yourself. Don't worry, bad guys won't take this video as a tutorial. They already know it. Methods hackers use to get your passwords. There are many different ways, but in this video, I am going to tell you about these five methods that hackers use to get your passwords. Password guessing, harvesting, cracking, spraying, and stuffing. Let's take them one by one, starting with guessing. As the name suggests, hackers try to guess your password. They use the most common passwords and try to log into your account. They can also use the leaked password in previous breaches. Hackers try one password, and if that doesn't work, they try another and keep doing that until they get access to your account. That's when the system administrators have decided to put a limit on wrong passwords. Usually, you get three tries to enter the correct password, and if you fail to do that, your account gets locked. That's the reason the guessing is not that much effective for hackers, unless they made a very good guess. Due to the limitations in guessing, cybercriminals move to another method called harvesting. In this method, hackers attempt to get the actual password. So how do they do this? They might infect your system with certain malware like keyloggers or spyware. This type of malware records your keyboard activity and sends it to the hackers. It records everything you type, including passwords, credit card info, and other sensitive details. Another method hackers can use to harvest your password is using a phishing attack. They lure you onto a fake website that looks exactly the same and asks you to log in with your password. The details you enter on this web page are sent directly to the hackers. If you want to know more about phishing, you can check our video on it. Click the I button or check the description. Now let's check the next technique hackers use to get your password. Password cracking. Due to several password database leaks, system administrators decided to encrypt the password. They use one-way encryption before saving the password, so that no one can read the password. Hackers use a clever technique to get this password. They use the leaked or common password database and use the same encryption login interface to hit the encrypted password database. For example, let's say they have leaked known passwords 1, 2, 3, and so on. Then they use the same encryption to encrypt the password and match it against all these encrypted passwords inside the database. If none matches, they use the second known password and keep doing that until they find one password that matches. This method is called cracking. They don't really have to break the encryption, but once it matches with the known password, they get access to your account. The next technique to discuss is password spraying. In this method, hackers use a leaked password database against a system, but instead of trying different passwords to one account, they take one known password and run it against different accounts. This method is called spraying as they are spraying the same to all the accounts one by one, and this way they don't even break the three wrong password limits. So there will be no security alert and no one will know about the attack. And they keep checking all the known password to all accounts until they get access to one account. This technique is very efficient because people tend to use the same password on different accounts. So a leaked password from one system usually works on another system. The fifth technique, stuffing is similar to spraying. The only difference in stuffing is that they try one known password on different systems instead of different accounts on one system. Once the hacker gets access to the password database, they use a password to hit on different systems as people often tend to use the same password on different online accounts. So these are the five techniques cyber criminals use to get access to your account. There are more, but with these five techniques, you get the idea of how hackers approach your password. Now let's discuss how you can protect your online accounts from hackers. Use long, complex, and unique passwords. The first thing you should make sure is that you use a unique password for all of your accounts. In case one of your account's passwords is breached, hackers can't get access to all of your accounts using password spraying and stuffing. Also, make sure your password isn't a phrase or sentence. It should be a complex one containing small and capital letters, special characters, and numbers. Make sure it is a long one because longer passwords are harder to guess or crack. 
The problem you might face is remembering these different and complex passwords, but you can use password managers to store them all. Don't worry, they are safe. One of the major advantages of password managers is they can generate complex and unique passwords for different accounts. It safely stores your password and autofill for you as well. Use multi-factor authentication. The next thing you can do to protect your valuable accounts from hackers is to use multi-factor authentication. It protects you even if your password reaches the hackers. The multi-factor authentication requires you to authenticate using one-time password or an authenticator app after entering the password. Use passkeys. If your online account allows it, you should use passkeys to log in instead of using passwords directly. The passkeys allow you to authenticate the login using the fingerprint, face ID, or PIN, instead of your actual password. This way, it protects you from entering your actual password on the phishing pages. Review your device login lists. Almost all online accounts have a list of sessions or devices lists that you are using your account. You should review this list from time to time and revoke access in case you find an unknown device or session and then change your password. This is it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. Do subscribe to the channel and make sure to press the bell button to receive cybersecurity video alerts.